For those of you that have never used Doxbin, there's a special tab on the site dedicated to those who've tried to go against the Doxbin community. It's called the Hall of Honor or HOA, and it holds the doxes and stories of the people that even the most toxic community on the internet didn't want. So yeah, today we'll be looking at the dox of a former owner of the website. Basically, in November of 2021, the site was sold by the current owner, known as KT. Then three months after the sale, him and the buyer had a falling out, due to the site having been ruined. And this argument ended up with KT buying the site back for around 20% of what he sold it for. After the incident, our protagonist ended up losing almost 300 bitcoins, or $14 million in stolen SimSwapper funds. Not even that, he was also arrested for all of his little misdemeanors, and is still facing trial. Now, obviously, there's a lot of details missing here, but we'll get into that in a moment. For now, let me introduce you to Arian Kurtage, aka White. He originally started his internet presence being obsessed with Minecraft servers and fantasizing about being the next big hacker. He later became friends with Miku and other young people forming a group called Infinity Recursions in early 2021. He's currently involved with a newly formed ransomware group with the name of Lapsus, which specialized in spear phishing and sim swapping. It was actually his involvement in this group that led to him getting arrested by the UK authorities. He's currently being charged with two counts of breach of bail conditions, which he pleaded guilty, and two counts of computer misuse, which he pleaded not guilty. He's currently being held in a youth detention center, like someone else that we know. Anyway, Arion slowly began making money to further expand his exploit collection, and after a few years, his net worth accumulated to well over 300 bitcoins, which if you didn't know is worth around 14 million dollars today. Of course, things didn't always go to plan, and he gambled a shit ton of it to impress like-minded idiots. Wait, what is this? Hello? The rest was then left in an open RDP, which was then compromised. Twice. Now, I need to reveal something that might shock you. Arion was 16 years old when this happened, still lives with his parents, and loves fishing with his uncle. Despite his family having no idea of his huge net worth, he has the brain of an 8 year old with severe autism. That's not a joke. Anyway, let's get into the sale. Doxpin was briefly owned by White when he bought it from KT and Brenton in November 2021. Then in the matter of just 3 months, he completely destroyed any reputation the site had, along with breaking many functions that had made Doc's been great. You see, White was never an attentive admin, and he completely neglected the site at times. Longtime members of the community started harassing White, and after a while he gave in, and KT and Breton managed to buy the site back at an 80% discount. Then after the deal, White realized he made a big mistake letting go of that website so easily. So he decided to try to lock the registrar account and steal the Discord vanity in an attempt to get on KT's nerf. This ultimately failed as they got the vanity back within two hours. He then attempted to publicly advertise a bounty of $100,000 for KT stocks on the main docs Ben Twitter. But not even five hours later, KT gains access to the Twitter account to start mocking White on his very awful internet security and opsec skills. However, KT didn't have the ability to change the email or password on the account, so the only option left was to forcefully suspend it. After this, White proceeded to drop the entire Docsbin database, which ultimately cost him $75,000. Good job, I guess. And this prompted KT, along with a few more members of Vile, to drop one of the most thorough docs documents in the history of the entire website. Now, not only two days after this, the door started knocking. Upon pulling up to Mr. White's mother's house, she was approached by some very nice gentleman who proceeded to ask where Mr. Arian was. Once knowing Arian wasn't there, the men began making their journey 20 minutes down the road to Arian's father's house. They were met with a police vehicle waiting at the house. Now lately, White has been pretty quiet as he was arrested in 2021 in relation to lapses. However, he was released upon investigation. In the following months, he took no regard for slowing down his hacking plans until he was confirmed raided once again on the morning of April 1st, 2022, and went to court that same morning. He was released the next day and given a one month internet suspension, and since then he has continued running ramped around the interwebs and recently breached Uber, although he practically got no user data, along with leaking the recent GTA 6 source code and video leaks under the alias Teapot or Teapot Hacker. Then again on the evening of 22nd of September 2022, the City of London police arrested a 17 year old in Oxfordshire on suspicion of hacking. This was of course Arion. He's currently being charged with two counts of breach of bill condition, which he pleaded guilty, and two counts of computer misuse, which he pleaded not guilty. He's still currently being held in a youth detention center, according to the last update on the docs, but I think that's where our story ends right here. But before I leave you guys, I'm going to read out a quote from KT himself out of the docs. People often speak on Arion like he's a criminal mastermind, like he's the best hacker to ever live. Arion was 
practically nothing. His $14 million he lost due to his compromised RDP twice and gambling it away. He had no brain cells, his OPSEC was obsolete, and his friends used him as a mule. Take admiration from people who do the deed and are still free to tell the tale. Peace.